Hello again, my friends. Marauder here, and welcome back to War in the East, the German campaign. We have already completed moves for Army Group North, and in this episode, I'm taking you to the Army Group South. We are facing uh, tremendous Russian forces opposing us. They have grouped here their best units, but no worries, we'll deal with them accordingly. I will show you the overall plan, how the front does it look, and to we'll start our actions with some recon. We need to be sure that uh, not no enemy units uh, stay hidden from us, because they may impede uh, our movements. We have already scouted a lot of them during our air campaign, but nothing must be left uh, to a chance, and we need to know the location of every single enemy unit that may stand in our way. The campaign here in the south is very delicate, as mm, the forces are matched, but the first move belongs to us, thanks to the uh, surprise attack of, uh, of Germany, and we'll make, use, make very good use of it. I think the recon is done, um, and I'll proceed to show you what our operation plans are. Um, here you can see the uh, country of Romani Romania, and it will play a great role in our moves. There are some mobile forces of uh, Army Group South, and let me draw some lines. We like drawing lines. We have located main uh, Russian uh, locations of forces, a con uh, concentration of forces. It is, of course, the border, but it's like normal. But where are mm, the rest of them located? Here we, have, we can see Lvov, Stanislav, Kovel area, reserves in Ro near Rovno, near Tarnopol, near Shepetovka, near Proskuro. And as we have located them, we have to now devise a plan how to deal with them. We'll use our mobile forces, uh, I mean our infantry forces, to break through the enemy border guards and then use the mobile forces to exploit our, um, our offensive and drive deep into enemy lines, just like the Germans usually do. But how to destroy most of them in one turn? The first and most important thing is to drive the panzers deep through Tarnopol down to Romania. As we do that, we cut off uh, all the forces that are located here and they will be no use for the Russians and uh, will easily surrender in the following turns. From the north, we will borrow some uh, troops from Army Group Center and strike here. The rest of the borrowed forces will make according moves. Drive here south through Rovno, here aiming at the rail lines. We need to cut the rail lines uh, to prevent the um, Russian troops from escaping. We will not be able to cut them completely, but they will have to remain in place. There is our northern pincer, and here will be our southern pincer. Amy at this division to cut the rails here. Uh, what's important is the um, location of the geographical features, like the rivers here, 
here we have identified a land bridge that will be easier to move through and we don't have to pay the higher movement costs of moving through a river. Same here, here we have a mountains, a mountain ridge, here is a river, so here is nice um, land bridge to move through. Here we pass one river, but one is like okay. And we exploit the, uh, the situation to cut the rail lines. Uh, results are um, tremendous because nearly all of the enemy formations are surrounded or cut from um, supplies and will be, will be easy hiding for the next turns to surrender. Only thing that remains is the Proskur of uh, reserve area. Sorry, but uh, these are units that we are uh, willing to let them escape. We can do nothing about them, unfortunately. Mm. This rail, rail line allows them to escape. We have no means to reach it, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, this is our plan. So now let's uh, jump to the execution. It will be really tricky. First, we need to punch the line through the enemy border formations. Some of them are really strong, some of them are quite weak. Mm. Let's start with some infantry movements. One division is enough to deal with the security formation. It routes. Uh, use the same division. Let's move it a bit. We add a second division. And we deal with the uh, uh, actually good version formations. We can use some troops from the south to deal with the fortified zone. Actually it failed. Let's try again maybe? No. Let's use some reinforcements. No we can't because oh, there's the HQ is blocking the way. Let's make some place, make some space, make some place for our brave infantry. Deal with the fortified zone. So we can proceed to uh, strike again at the uh, infantry division that has, that has um, retreated. Let's strike them more. And let's retreat it again. Mm. Let's use some more infantry. Unfortunately, it's still not broken. We have some movement points. Okay. Let's deal with this one. It's blocking our movements with its zone of control. We have here one division that is not assigned to any chord. We can really easily fix that. Let's choose a core, something one that is not overloaded, like this, it has only two divisions, it's 55th uh, core, it's uh, take a closer look, it has five um, combat value, we change the cores, and it has 14. It's really important to um, assign the divisions to, I can't click it, it's really important to assign divisions to cores, not leave them in uh, the higher uh, chain of command. 
Why is the division so stubborn? Why? Just why? Don't worry if the infantry divisions uh, provide some trouble. We have plenty of um, infantry movement, we have plenty of them um, infantry movement points, so we can quite eagerly um, pay for attacking the enemy units until it's met with success. And I say success, success, I mean success, not bullshit over and over. Bad division, bad division, bad luck. It doesn't matter, really. Can get closer, but it doesn't matter. Ah, let's uh, deal with the northern pincer as well. We use one infantry division and one cavalry division. It's okay. Now let's drive deep and try to reach Romania. We have one uh, division back there. Mm, let's use it because it's the farthest from the front. Let's reinforce it with. Uh, Gross Deutschland Motorized Regiment and and let's put the um, Corp Command uh, up to the front. We can also reinforce it with Pioneers, Stugs and Jadpanzer uh, support units. And let's clear the way. You can see a division committed to the defense, but fortunately we were, st uh, were still successful. We can move the division further up. We can reinforce it with some um, motorized infantry division to provide it with some more punching power. We can even assign some um, from Panzer Battalion, Machine Gun Battalion, to make it even more, uh, even stronger. I'm sorry, sometimes I forgot words. But nevertheless, we attack to push them away. Inside, when it's blue, it's inside. Yeah, we push them back. Push them back a little bit more. Surrender the fortified division. But what's the most important thing is that the way uh, down is open. That's free. It used to be four. Something's wrong. It's very nice here. Let's try this. Uh, 
yeah, now it's four. It's important to use exactly the, this division, it starts from here, uh, because uh, when you waste the um, other division, uh, the drive here to Romania is not really possible. Attack the security regiment and secure uh, a way to, to Romania. Uh, yes, so we have uh, driven through. Uh, we have our border with Romania. This, uh, in this way, uh, Romania gets activated next turn because if we didn't do this, they will be activated on turn three. But uh, this way, we have the uh, possibility to activate them turn two, and it's very, very useful. And we cut off all these R Russian troops. Mm, they are now doomed, so uh, it's very, very important to do so. Let's use the tank divisions and the HQ. We clear the way. Why it's so pesky? Why it's only retreats? Retreats and retreats and retreats. Why? But why? If the division didn't retreat so many times, we would have one more movement points and we could attack this division, displace it, and capture the railroad. But the railroad is in our zone of control, so it is also not operational. It doesn't really matter. Now we focus on the northern pincer through Rovno to cut the um, two rail, li uh, rail lines here. We use some panzer divisions, of course. It's important to not move through enemy zone of controls. Where is the HQ? Oh, here. Can we assign some? A Yak Panzer Battalion, a Pioneer Battalion. That's okay. Finally, the route. It's very infuriating when uh, the, Russians div the Russian divisions are bounced over and over again and over and over. They have like four defensive power, you have 33, and they still retreat, do not route. Or even <laughs> a hole. It's very, very frustrating. You can drag the um, HQ a bit. Finally, they routed. And we use our uh, final uh, orange Panzer Division and cut the rail lines. We can capture some fuel. Yep, the rail lines are cut. We could not drive there, but we can, so why not? Uh, yes, so now only the here this corridor remains. Uh, we have one more Panzer Division and one more um, Motorized Division, Das Reich. Mm. Let's use the Motorized Division. Now 
now the uh, corridor here is also broken uh, so the troops are um, encircled we use the last um, panzer division you can split it a bit in three like regiments and block the possible uh, places where the enemy can uh, break the pockets. So, for example, here. So, for example, here. And, for example, here. This way, uh, they cannot actually cross and we are quite secure. Mm. Now, what remains, we must make sure our uh, HQ is secure. When it's uh, like freely lying on a hex without any protection, just an enemy can move uh, its unit up and bounce it so it jumps back to um, our controlled territory, so here, uh, back in the, in the occupied Poland and uh, we lose a lot of supply and uh, support so it's really bad now the boring part so the movement of the infantry we move as far east as possible basically I'll just click and move this one cannot move Anywhere. Just move. We have here one infantry division that is um, assigned to a Panzer Corps, which is unfavorable. I'll we'll quickly fix that in a second. For example, which core we can assign. This one has three subordinates. You can easily check that clicking here. The subordinates, so it has a place for one more. Oh, sorry, I forgot which core was that. Mm, 17. So we search here for the 17th core. Mm, 17. Exactly. Changed. And we go east. Let's use the um, infantry divisions here from down south to block the infantry from coming in. We have here some security regiments. We will be using those to reduce the pockets. And we can leave one infantry division to deal with the uh, pocketed units. But we can still attack the fortified zones as they do not uh, um, retreat, they only surrender. The infantry division uh, went into reserve activation and helped the fortified zone, but it didn't on the second try. The rest we can move, we can deal with maybe one more fortified zone here. It saves some time um, for later. that location because this division could probably move it. It actually mm, didn't have uh, enough movement points but better be safe. Let's move the uh, purple HQs as well. There is, uh, the, these troops are not uh, activated yet so you can't move them. 
uh, as is the second uh, Panzer Corps, like uh, 13th Panzer Corps for the for, uh, for the orange uh, troops is not uh, yet activated, so we can cannot move them. The remainers are also not activated. The zeros in the movement points, but they will be in the next turn. Mm. Can we adjust a bit the positions here? Probably, but there is no need. I think any HQs left alone? No. So the mm, the army group south is now concluded. Let's see from the higher perspective. These troops are now uh, isolated. They, their supply is not cut because there are still two hexes uh, wide here. The, the corridor is two hexes wide, so they cannot, um, they, they won't be considered uh, isolated in the next turn, but they cannot move, so we can isolate them in the following turns. Those are done, they are completely surrounded, as is the whole huge Lvov pocket. The only one, the ones that uh, escape, are the Bruce Grove troops. And that's how we deal with all the mm, best Soviet troops uh, located in the army group south. I think that uh, it concludes this episode and stay with me after a short break we will be dealing with army group center and our drive to Minsk. Thanks a lot guys! See you next time.